Irish antagonism towards, the, towards England in the 17th century was aggravated by the economic situation in Ireland. During this time, the British government was sailing across oceans, spreading their I English empire in foreign lands. For example, they colonialized America for the sake of um, simply improving the economy with the tobacco and vegetable resources found in the lands of America. In the early 16th century, under the reign of Elizabeth I, the British took control of Ireland. They brought their Protestant religion to Ireland and forced the people there to switch from Catholic to Protestant. In addition, the rich Irish brought out many plantations in Ireland to use as trades goods to exchange with the British. The working conditions set by the rich Irish were horrible. The people working there were forced to work long, hard hours every day with the fear of always losing their job and begging for food and survival. Men, women, and children were forced to work in the plantations in Ireland as a source of money for low wages. This was the only job source for most of the inhabitants of Ireland, even with the harsh working conditions. At the end of the 17th century, the British owned nearly four-fifths of the land in Ireland. They carried the main control and rule over this land and placed heavy restrictions on the citizens of Ireland. This dictator-like rule brought out severe economic downfalls in the 17th century. First, English laws limited Ireland's ability to trade with other countries. In most developing countries, trade is the only way to uprise their economy and maintain internal stability within their country. However, since Irish were restricted in trade, hunger, poverty, and overcrowding were highly prevalent. In addition, Ireland was, all, was able to buy certain products only from England at only high prices. Therefore, any necessary goods and products that were needed by the Irish people can only be bought from Britain at very high prices. The British were only doing this for the sake of gaining economic stability and profit for their own country. They showed little regard towards the condition of the country of Ireland and were completely autocratic towards the people. Therefore, the restriction laws as well as the low-paying, harsh working conditions of the plantation workers amplify the punitive econ economic situation of the people in Ireland. Thank you.